What should you stop doing? Focus on scroll either one, two, or three, and pick the one that resonates most for you. Group number one, let's check the smoking gun. And yes, I'm deliberately being corny. So group number one, it's time to stop worrying and stop judging yourselves. You see, because worrying is just habitually thinking negatively. You're not giving yourself the bigger picture to consider other things. You consider things that are also positive. So if you're habitually thinking negatively and that's your state of worry, understand there's a spectrum of thought, a spectrum of possibilities that you're not considering. Because it's in that worry that usually kind of is spawned from self-judgment. And you're judging yourself too much, thinking that you're not doing the right things, you're not doing the Way you should be doing it or you've made decisions or mistakes in your past that that you're still beating yourself up over remember this each day each second each hour is new opportunity to make a new decision to go in a different direction because self-judgment really creates more worry keeping yourself in that box so take a step out of that box look at the bigger picture and give yourself a broader range of possibilities group number two what message is for you and don't hate me for being deliberate corny okay group number two your message is stop being so bitchy what's going on why is everyone triggering you why do you care about what somebody else says why do you care about what somebody else thinks why is it triggering you you see what you react to you relate to so something within that reaction that you're experiencing with somebody else is deep within yourself and it's time to clear and purge that this isn't a judgment of self of being so bitchy it's more about understanding it's a reaction it's a result of you not really solidifying your own perspective solidifying your own ideas because when you do solidify your own perspective and ideas you allow the diversity of thought and conversation and so understand this don't be so entitled that everybody else has to be formatted to your thinking to your feeling focusing on actually resolving the inner conflict so this way what you react to is actually all positive all empowering and you allow others to be that diverse in thought and feeling and perspective because remember what you react to you relate to it's a good opportunity now to look deep inside and ask yourself why are others so triggering Group number three, what message is for thee? And don't hate me for being deliberately corny. Okay, group number three, it's time to stop putting others first. Now, having empathy can be very challenging. You feel all the people's emotions. You can actually read how people are feeling, understand what people are feeling, what they're feeling. This is a great thing. Having empathy is a wonderful thing, but that does not mean because you feel them, they have to come before you. Just as if that plane is going down, you have to put the oxygen mask on yourself first and then your child the same thing in life you must come first in what you're doing and stabilize your own life first because you can't allow others to keep pulling from you because then there'll be nothing left if you're around for everybody else the question is who is actually there for you so once you put all that emphasis and time into the self and then any extra time you have you can support others and help others if need be but once you're truly living for yourself what you do will naturally help others and inspire others and it wouldn't be an exhausting or a draining experience experience. So it's time to put yourself first and be more conscious of how you're letting others dictate and dominate your own feelings and happiness.